Let's go through the setup for Finch Collector. Okay. You're going to collect something else like Finches. You could still call it Finch Collector when we're setting it up. That way, if you haven't picked your resource yet, you're fine. Okay. For Finch Collector, you're going to go through all seven of the parts of this lesson that we go through, and you'll deploy it at the end. Okay. You do not need to do the part eight, which is uploading images to AWS. That's optional. If you want to do it, go for it. The instructions are there, but I'm not going to hold you to that because you need to use a credit card when you sign up for AWS, and I don't want to force anyone to do that. You won't need to pay anything. You just have to use it to verify that you're a human being. Okay, so to start with this, we're going to go to start a Django app using Docker, Neon. Okay, we're going to follow these instructions, but we're going to do this with Cat Collector or with Finch Collector instead. Okay, so I'm going to go through this process and do exactly what we need to do, but just with new terminal. Seriously? There we are. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to go into my labs directory. Code SEI labs. I'm going to make a directory called Finch Collector. I'm going to CD into it. Obviously, don't need to do this git part. Well, I mean, you do. I don't. You're going to hook this up to GitHub, but you can do that later. You know how to initialize and connect a Git repo, hopefully. If you don't, good luck at a job. You all know how to do this. You've been doing this for six, nine weeks now, so you'll be good. Okay. Let's open this VS Code. We're going to touch Docker file. We're going to put all this stuff in it. None of it changes. Let's get through what all the crap means because we already talked about it. We're going to create requirements.txt. And we're going to copy and paste this stuff into it. Don't need to talk about it. I already did it. We're going to copy and paste. Oops, excuse me. Copy and paste this into the terminal to create the Docker Compose.yaml. And we're going to copy and paste this into it. None of that's different. Okay. Just talks about it. Then. This is where the first command that we actually need to like change what we're typing and pay attention is, right? I mean, we should be paying attention to all of this. But we're going to copy this copy this command, paste, but instead of cat collector, we're going to call it finch collector. Okay? Also, you may not need to use sudo for this. Then it does its thing. It'll take a little bit longer if you have crappy internet. Rich. Just to avoid doing something really stupid. So it's totally okay to call this Finch Collector even if our resource doesn't match that later. It's the name of the lab, so yes. Cool, okay, thank you. Totally cool with that. Now. Hi, I have an error. Cool. Let's check it out. I tried using sudo first. Did you try it without sudo? Um, I haven't, but I wasn't sure if like something ah. was already created. You're having the same credentials issue, which is strange. Didn't we fix this earlier on your machine? I thought we did. All right. Well, let's go check it out. Let's go to uh, oh, pull a regular old terminal up. 
actually you can do it here in your terminal here just type um code space um tilde slash dot docker and then hit tab tab again and then go to keep hitting tab till you get to config.json and then hit enter and then hit enter again and this should open it right there and just delete your creds again everything in that object can go oh sorry about that that's weird yeah this happens some of you may need to do this and then you're good you can just close that file now cool and if you hit up a couple times you can rerun that command awesome thank you cool uh christina I have a the permission denied, but I thought like I fixed this already before. Yeah, you're gonna do exactly what Nat just did. If you want to share your screen, I can walk you through it again. So I remember it was tilde dash. Type code space. Oh, code space. Tilde slash dot docker and then hit tab 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 enter yes. Yes. and then enter and just go ahead oh you already have that that should be that is what it should be so you can go ahead and close that and it looks like you need to add sudo to the front of that command that you forgot and the so hit up twice and just add a sudo to the front of that. Well, thank you. You're cool. All right. So we did that. Next thing we're going to do is take a look at our permissions, ls-l. Again, if you're using Windows or Linux, you're going to need to change the permissions of these files. If you're using Mac, you probably don't need to do that. So we can copy this. Copy this command, paste it, and make sure you change cat collector to finch collector. You can verify that that worked again with ls-l, and you'll see that all of the files now have permission for the current logged in user in your machine. Okay, then we go to Neon. We're gonna go to Dashboard, Nat. Got another uh, error, it's a legal group name. Let's check it out. I'm so sorry. You're good. I bet you I know what it is. I hope it's not because I called mine something else. Because I know what I'm going to collect. I do not know what it is. Um, you, you said know, earlier that when it says staff, it means we do have permissions. And it worked earlier yeah, with that. You only need to change permissions if you're using Windows. Right. I just want, uh, oh, right. Okay. Wh Sorry. Which you're not. So you're good. Never mind. You're good. So those uh, channel or change ownership commands, you don't need to do those because you already own them. Cool. So we're in Neon. We're going to go to branches, new branch. Make sure it says main here. And we're going to type finch collector. Create new branch. This is our connection info, which I'm going to bring over here. I'm going to expose this so we can see what we've got. And I'm going to take my handy, handy, handy diddle, my handy dandy little chart here. I'm going to do all this. See, this is why it's nice to have multiple things on one screen. And we're going to touch ENV. 
inside my env i'm just going to take the take this code block i hate how notion does that and we're going to paste it and we're just going to replace these values with the appropriate things okay the user is this first part the password's the second part it's everything to the right of the colon but up into the at symbol so password comes here host is everything to the right of the at up until the dot tech what was that before empty hall okay weird Why does that look so much longer? It's just, I guess it's just a couple letters longer. Yeah, weird. All right, cool. Um, and then the database name is just neon DB, so that stays the same. All of those things are set up properly. Then we go into the env file, or excuse me, the settings.py. And we add the, let's go back down. We add the environ stuff. So we're going to go up to the top. And we can, again, just copy paste. And we can take this line and put it beneath our base DIR. Take our secret key. Copy. Go back to our ENV and add a secret key. And if we have any weird characters in here, just go ahead and delete them, like the equals and the parentheses. Okay, it's still fine to have this as a key. It does. It's honestly, this could just be a random string of characters. It doesn't matter what this is. Just don't have weird characters in there. Ordinarily, weird characters are okay in the other like where we had it originally, because that's not an ENV file and they're, they're not using equal signs to parse different values. Here, we don't want that. Okay. So secret keys there. And then again, in settings where we removed that secret key, we're going to put ENV secret key. Okay. Then we change the database setup. Again, you can literally just copy this and paste it right over databases. It's all set up already. Then we test it. Docker compose up. And we should see two things. One, you have 18 unapplied migrations. And two, we have this, which if we click, should give us the rocket ship. Okay. That's it. That's the setup. Everything else will follow part one of Cat Collector. Gia. Um, I have an error. Let's check it out. Let me see. Okay. Um... Cool. Um... Improperly configured secret. So let's take a look at your... Yeah, right. Well, let's look. We need to look in two places. Let's scroll up in this file real quick and take a look at where your secret is in, in the file settings.py. Oh. So, okay, cool. Um, okay. 
right there. That looks good. So let's go take a look at your secret key and your ENV. And I just... you should not have spaces after ENV values. Oh. Um... oh. Get rid of the other one too. No spaces ever in an ENV file. Cool. Try it again. What's happening? Okay. Uh, password uh, authentication failed. It looks like you have a colon in your password, which doesn't make any sense. I got so that. Maybe, maybe get rid of the colon that's in your neon password in your env file. I think you just copied one line too many. Uh oh, here. Oh yes. Um, that's right. Okay. Oh. Control C. Cool. You're good to go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Rich, did you get yours too? Uh, no, same thing with the uh, user authentication failed for the password. And I let's check it out. Sure. Great, I'll get you in just a second. Oops. Uh, so this here, I double checked that I was copying the right thing here. Took out the weird characters from here. Okay. Oh, Rich, I think I know I had the same error. What you got? In here, um, neon host, I think it's EP. Yep. Uh, oh, well, look at that. Yep. All right, let's see if it works. Good eyes, thank you. That would have taken me a second to figure out. Thanks for fixing that. Cool, you're good. Nice, thank you. Yep, Bree, what you got? Oh, I also have a, an error. Um, cool. Python can't open file code manage pi. Um, oh, how strange. You have a weird directory structure. Can you type ls in your terminal for me? That manage.py should be somewhere else. So why is it there? It looks like you are in the wrong directory. Uh, but can you hit up in your terminal for me? Again, one more, again, again. This is, no, go down. This is the problem. This line, you forgot the dot at the end. So it made it in the Finch collector directory rather than in the current directory. So what I want you to do is delete your Finch collector directory and no, 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 leave that command up. Just right click on Finch collector, that is one, that yeah. You're going to have to do a lot of these steps again, but it's okay. And then delete your manage.py. And then in your terminal, hit spacebar and then put a period. And then hit enter. And saying that because you have an equals somewhere. I think that's you just your old secret key. You're fine now. So this should be set up properly. Your manage.py is in the right place now. So now you just need to go through and fix all those steps again that we just did. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. If you have problems with that, just hit me up and I'll walk you through it. Not a big deal. Okay. Thank you. Happy to help. I just want to make sure everybody's in a good place to start their labs. So.
Um, if you want to test your database connection, by the way, you can go to, it should work because if it says you have unapplied migrations, that means it's connected. But if you want to test that, what you can do is go to your um, Docker, find the Finch collector, and then attach a shell to it. And you should be able to do Python 3 manage dot pi migrate. And it should give you all the green OKs if you've set it up properly. The next thing that I would do is push your code to GitHub after initializing and configuring a Git repo for your code. Christina. I'm sorry, I missed this step when you were discussing your test with the adding the shell. Like, so I added a new shell and then what were you supposed to do with Docker? Uh, in You went to the image here in Docker and then clicked attach shell? Yes. You're gonna type Python 3 manage.py migrate manage.py migrate yep this part is part of the finch collector or the cat collector setup but this is just a quick way to make sure that your database is set up properly and you should see a bunch of green okays yes thank you excellent anybody else free help get your free help 